Here's another business that's a case study from one of the students of this course. This video is brought to you by EpiPies Academy. And this is a very cool business. I'll show you. It's a life coaching business, but I hope I'm pronouncing the name right. Fiorenza Rossini. And there's a lot, there's so many things right about this business, but it's still very hard to promote. And I'll explain what I mean. First of all, the website looks beautiful and professional. She's collecting emails. You can see testimonials, which maybe, maybe video testimonials would be a little bit better. Um, who knows? Uh, I, what I really like about it is that she has examples of how she works with people. So people get a sense of how she, her coaching works, more help. Here's her social media stuff. Um, what I would like to see more of is maybe places where she's been featured, like some big news publications or things like that. And maybe more social presence than just Instagram, right? Because Instagram is a little too easy. Um, <clears throat> because what that leads me into is I have a similar business, right? Like I have a business coaching part to my business. And for that business, it's honestly very difficult to get clients just from a website because if you just have a website, what happens is you rely on Google search and the Google, Google search is cluttered with thousands and yeah, I would say probably thousands of other life coaches, business coaches. It's very hard to differentiate. So even though so many things are done right on this website, it's really hard to differentiate. What I, one thing I would say will be really easy to differentiate if you do, um, I see there's like an Italian emphasis on this site. At least I saw one of the client testimonials. Maybe in, the, in Italian, there would be a smaller market, but way less competition. But if you want to do English, um, what I would recommend is almost having a huge, huge, wor working on a building a really big presence as a thought leader, maybe on a podcast, maybe on a YouTube channel, something where people, where you can build an audience and then every once in a while, open it up for, hey, like I'm taking new coaching clients and things like that. But you've got to get an audience, you've got to get the traffic. I think it's the hardest part to solve with this kind of business. You know, I've done stuff like uh, YouTube channel. So I get some of the people uh, come to me for extra coaching from my apps, from my Udemy teaching. So I have like a lot of other platforms where I've become like bigger. And then I get a trickle also for my books. Um, if you write a book and it becomes a book that sells well, once people read your book, you can have calls to action in your book to say, hey, if you want to get personalized help, you can you know, get my um, coaching and then point them to the website. Um, I also do a lot of like discounted coaching on freelancing sites so that I, you know, once people get a sense of like, hey, this guy is good, they can, I can then upgrade them to a full rate. So I draw coaches, so sorry, I draw clients not for, for exactly the same kind of business, not through SEO, which is what I would love to do, but SEO is a little too competitive. So I draw clients from everywhere else on the web where I have big following. And as a long-term play, I'm doing a lot of link building to my site and specifically the page that tries to sell my coaching, which will be maybe either the homepage here or the work with me page. And then you would want to build links to this and make that page stand out in Google and rank higher and higher and higher. And once it's in the first page, you can um, get a lot of clients looking for a life coach and things like that. Another thing I'd say is also treat this as a local service. You know, all the local business, in, you know, put your put your city where, and, and state where you are located, um, list yourself on Yelp, stuff like that might also help and it might be easier to draw clients from the, your local area.